recently on Road Trip and we took you to the Steamtown National Historic Site and talked all about locomotives and steam power. Now we're switching gears a little bit, talking about electric power and just a skip and a hop away from the National Historic Site is the Lackawanna County Trolley Museum. Come inside, we're going to show you how the Electric City got its name. It's part of the area's heritage, and uh, it's important to carry it on to the younger generation, what this area was like. While coal mining, railroads, and trolleys aren't as popular as they once were, the Trolley Museum is a bridge linking the present to a time when Scranton was booming. They come in here and they'll see a trolley and they'll say, hey, this trolley ran by my house, you know, and it brings a smile to their face. Trolleys don't just represent a day gone by for the region, but are the reason why Scranton is called the Electric City. Scranton was the first successful commercial trolley line in the United States, and that's how they pin the name Scranton, the Electric City. It's not just vintage trolleys inside the museum. Last year, HBO host John Oliver featured Scranton on Last Week Tonight and donated a massive display to the museum. Back in the old day, the conductor would yell out, hang on to your nickels. It was a famous trolley expression. That was the original fare on the trolley car. A nickel, you could ride all day. If you want to experience a trolley for yourself, there's no better way than to take the 30-minute ride to PNC Field. This is the way everybody used to go to a baseball game. You have to remember, no one owned an automobile. The feature of the ride, a mile-long tunnel right underneath the city of Scranton. It goes under Crown Avenue, a 113-year-old tunnel. If you lived here your life, so you didn't know there was a tunnel under South Scranton, you're going to find out. Road tripping in Lackawanna County, Mike Linden, Fox 56 News, first at 10.